Yo, what's good, boys? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. In today's video, we're going to be testing some of the lowest controller settings and the higher settings. Then we're going to narrow it down somewhere in the middle, and we're going to see which one is best. And if you watch the full video through, I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. Let's not waste any time. Let's hop right into it. So the way I'm going to test these settings is we're going to do a build and editing test, and then we're going to go into 1v1s and see if we can win. We're going to start off on these really low settings. So let me break them down and let me show you what we got. So 1.5 build and edit and 39 horizontal and vertical, and then no boost or anything like that. We have boost ramp time on our ADS sense, of course, of course. And we're using an 8% dead zone and obviously on linear. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did try this sense right before I started to record, and it is super slow. Like, there's a lot of things that I can't do, so I'll explain. When I'm going for quad edits, when I look down to do this set it right here most of the time i can't get a cone off i can only get my floor off which is really weird and another thing that's really hard to do on low sense is this move right here to be able to do that consistently is super hard because you usually fall like you can't get a ramp down so i honestly don't think anybody can really benefit off using a sensitivity this slow because like you can barely you can barely move that when i'm down here and i edit through this it's hard to get my crosshair up to place this wall and this wall these two to do like the protective retake the the one that i usually do all right that's kind of enough said everybody kind of knows how slow these are let's go and hop into some one to be ones and see what we can do Ooh, and here's our first victim and some of you guys might be wondering but the reason why i'm not using my 1v1 map is because i have an update coming out on it very soon and i don't want to leak it but yeah you guys will see that soon yeah this is not this is not gonna go well Ooh. and i missed oh my god you don't even know where i'm at Let's see boys that's just so slow like i totally whiff not sure about this one boys oh edit oh my god look how slow that is All right. Yeah, that, I think that's that's I've had enough of this. <laughs> I really don't want to play on these settings anymore. Let's go ahead and, and uh, head back into the island. Let's try these high settings. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Just for a last reference, this is how slow my sense is. This is what it looks like whenever I got my map out. It is super slow, but we can finally turn it up. All right, let's do it. I know Day plays on 43, 43, 1.9, but Sway uses 2.4 and he's always been on high sense. And another really good player, Mero, uses 2.0. So we're going to stick to the higher side and see what happens. So looking around, this doesn't really feel much different, but if you're not using anywhere from 40 to 45 when you look vertical and look horizontal then you're kind of just putting yourself at a disadvantage because everybody knows that those are the best settings now that is personal preference you might do better on a higher sense but let's see how these builds are feeling oh boy these are fast oh goodness gracious oh dude my crosshair placement is going to be awful oh wait hold up we actually might be able to do something with this hold up coming from that super low sense to this is so awkward bro oh no okay but obviously it's really easy to be able to hit some type of uh crosshair placement like you know whip around and be able to do different moves like that but it's hard to stay consistent so i don't know we'll see what happens let's have some 1v1s and see which one we do better on i honestly can't wait till i can go into like the medium like the middle settings that i'm usually always on they're on the lower side but i feel like i'm just gonna be so nasty on them once i actually get on it so excited to go back to my regular settings after this these are like gonna be too fast and too inconsistent but we'll see what we can do we'll see what we can do oh bro i'm so inconsistent uh. all right i had some type of crosshair placement right there oh that was kind of nice well at least i did something man oh my goodness That was an obvious, you know, wait for the edit type beat. That was a nothing crazy. Let's keep going. All right, I'm sort of kind of getting used to them now. Ooh, that, was, that would have been a nice cone. Oh, that would have been too if I could edit right. GG's. Oh my goodness. Bro, look at me. I can't even edit this. This is embarrassing. All right, so it's the movement and the mechanics, of course. You know what I'm saying? They'll be a little bit better. And you have to stay consistent on them. It takes a while to learn, obviously, right? But uh, this is a pretty good representation of why, like, you shouldn't play super low sense. And, it, you know, obviously, high sense is a little bit better. All right, and this is probably going to be my favorite part of the video, obviously, for me, because uh, this is going to be a sensitivity that I usually use. Uh, but we're going to go dead in the middle. 1.9, 1.9, and 40, 40. And let's get it. And right off the bat, the consistency is there. We can feel really confident while building, knowing that we're going to be able to hit these edits and these builds. Yeah, this is perfect. I don't really need to build much on these, obviously, because I'm, you know, already used to them. It does feel a little bit slower, obviously, coming from, you know, a higher sense like that. But, but these by far will be the best settings in this video, 100%. And with that being said, let's see if we can hop in and hit some nasty clips on these settings. Let's see what we can do. Yo, that was nasty. Don't do this, buddy. Oh my 
my god, I'm doing my boy dirty. <laughs> he did that to me last round, so it's okay. That's where that nice 40 40 cents comes in, baby. How about them angles, boys? Telling you, telling you. And also, having a low enough sense to be able to get off a crosshair placement, kind of sort of like that, is super important. So, being on the high sense, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do that. Well, boys, I think I made my point pretty clear. When it comes down to me being used to a certain sensitivity, like the one that I'm on right now, in between, obviously, I'm used to it. So, I'm a little bit more productive on it. But it gives you a really good demonstration of how to find your sensitivity because everybody's different. And it's really good to try both ends of the spectrum. And also, with my edits, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my edit speed recently has gotten really really fast for the guys that watch me usually i've been doing a little secret trick i'm making a video on it i've been doing a few things i'm gonna make a video on how to edit faster here pretty soon so definitely make sure you're subscribed when nobody's on so you don't miss it and i want to see who my actual supporters are and who watches my full videos so go into the comments and comment 1.8 i always try to heart all the comments that always have my secret keywords at the end of my videos and if you ever get a heart from me that just means i seriously appreciate you and if you watch this full video through you're definitely gonna enjoy this video on screen right now so go ahead and click it and i'll see you in there Thank you so much for watching and much love. Peace out.